Shalom, Yasha'Allah, is Brother Mepathak. That would be key, but in the ancient Paleo-Hebrew. And um, in this video, I'm going to just go into this, uh, just a, this video, um, and just touch on and elaborate and, and basically commentate over this video that Shikari did, you know, with, um, you have um, Gorilla Hebrew, you know, the brother Alizar speaking, and he making a lot of good points, you know, a lot of necessary points, man, especially for brothers and um, even sisters as well, who, who's just coming to this truth and you may watch certain camps and uh, what could happen with you watching these different camps, um, you may hear them speak um, a certain type of way against another group of brothers or another camp. And by you following this camp, now you feel like you have to dislike, you know, or, or have some type of feeling towards another group of brothers because the people that you follow and you listen to and you learn from, they feel some type of way about these other camps. But you don't want to get caught up in that, you know. You don't you don't want to get caught up in that. And as a as a babe in this thing, you know, you being new into the truth, you're you're easily influenced, you know? And um so that's pretty much what I want to go into. Allure willingness is edifying. Cause the brother goes into a lot of good points, man. You know, and this video isn't about getting on um a specific group of brothers, but I wanna just um go into it for the for the edification, you know? Um so even if you may learn, hey, you may believe a doctrine that a certain camp is teaching. But don't get caught up in their in their personal um, ag uh, not agendas, but personal beefs or for lack of a better term, personal beefs that they may have with other brothers or other camps, because a lot of these things has been going off. I mean, going on way before um, a lot of us have been in the truth, you know, and it's a lot of things that we we don't understand or we don't know that that goes on behind closed doors. So just don't have your mind on, OK. My elder is constantly getting on this camp, so I don't like this camp either. Or my elder is always talking about this guy and is teaching a wicked doctrine, or this guy is wicked, so I believe he's wicked. Even though you never met that brother, you know you don't you don't want to get caught up in these things, man. You know, just just if you believe the doctrine, learn the doctrine and teach the doctrine, but don't get caught up in um, having ill will towards certain brothers because your camp leaders do the same thing, you know. And um, that's pretty much what I want to go into. And um, so we give double honors to the elders of, uh, well, me personally, I should say, give double honors to the elders of Great Millstone because I acknowledge that um, I acknowledge that a lot of these breakdowns we in understanding that we have today, we wouldn't have if, if the Lord didn't put it on their spirit to teach these things, man, you know, and to understand these things. But I don't get caught up in, OK, um, the elders have making videos towards these brothers and they're saying um fuck these brothers i don't get caught up in that you know um, because i hear an elder saying they don't like a certain camp or f this camp i'm not going to get caught up in saying f that camp man you know and that's basically the point i'm trying to get at you see so i'm gonna play this video um alizar touched on some some beautiful points in this video right and lord willingness edifying before we go into it let's give all praise honor and glory unto the heavenly father yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem rakakadash and we're going to dive right into this thing. Years, right? And all of that is going to mean jack shit when you are burnt with thermonuclear fire for your hatred towards me. I'm going to tell you that now, right? Read it again. First John 3 and 15. Uh -huh. Whosoever hated his brother uh -huh. is a murderer. You're a murderer, right? Hold that, Revelation 21 and 8. Right? Don't let your dislike, your disdain for me Null and void all of your work and inhibit your salvation, right? Because that's what you're doing. You're teaching men to do so, right? And that's some of the errors that the elder and apostles of Great Millstone led the men of under him to do is going out of their way to justify hatred towards brothers. And once again, like I said, I'm not, this video is in the boat. Just, I, I just want to get the edification from what he's saying. So it's not an attack on the elders of Great Millstone. Um, um, cause hey, you even have accounts of other camps calling the elders of Great Millstone or just members of Great Millstone bummelites, you know, and, and things like that. You may be following that camp, and now you may look at GMS like, oh, those those guys are just bummelites because my elders said they are, you know. And that's the whole point that I'm trying to get from this lesson. You don't want to get caught up in these things. Don't get caught up in the men. If you believe what they're teaching, believe what they're teaching and teach it. But don't get caught up in, in the men and, and their their personal beefs that they have and things like that. You know, you hear them calling 
somebody that fell out of their camp, a bug out or a castaway or whatever it may be. Now you're doing less than saying, yeah, um, this guy is a castaway. You never even met that brother. You don't know what's really going on, but you heard the elder say it. So now you're saying the same thing. That's the whole point I'm trying to get from this lesson. You know, so I don't want this to be misconstrued. Right. You taught me hatred towards people that I never knew. Right. You taught me hatred towards people that I had never knew on false accusations that y'all forwarded against them. That's a real thing. Right. And that's absolutely a real thing. You know, you may what like I like I keep saying, you may follow a certain congregation and you may pick up these feelings towards other brothers as you listen to them constantly speaking about these brothers, you know, and constantly speaking about these camps. You may pick up um it may be heavily influenced and pick up these same these same feelings towards these brothers, man. And you don't want to do that, you know. That is a very real thing. They called Zabak an adulterer. They told us Zabak is an adulterer. Right? Said all forms of evil about Zabak. But then when I get the testimony from the man, and y'all know who I'm talking about, who he allegedly committed adultery against, the man put her away. And Zabak being a man, a year after he, or a 10 months to a year after the guy puts her away, gives the guy a call and informs him that he's now dealing with her. Right? But the man put her away. That woman is Zabak's wife to this day. Right? But the man put her away. So then once they have a problem with Zabak, now they're calling him an adulterer for taking something. But when you give a woman a bill of divorce, what does uh, De De Robert 24 say? She can go and be another man's wife. It's your fault you get, but they told me that this nigga is a wicked, evil, a adulterer, right? And to hate his guts before I ever met the man. So what? So, so much to the point where I'm in the same room as him and I avoid meeting him and he goes out of his way to make sure he meets and greets me. See, and that's the that's the spirit and the influence that you can get through um, certain like these these certain problems that camps have against other brothers like. You, as you grow in this truth, you will see how um, Deuteronomy 28 and 54, which I'm going to actually get. Um, Deuteronomy 28 and 54. It reads, um, we shall all know the scripture, right? It says, so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother. That's heavy in this truth, man. You know, with this damn camp versus camp spirit, it, um, it also... It almost becomes like how it is in a row with gang versus gang. You know, you got um, camp saying fuck another camp and things like that, man. That shouldn't really be going on in this thing. You know, a brother, a, a certain congregation doesn't under doesn't understand your teachings or agree with your teachings. It shouldn't come to a point where you say, all right, fuck these brothers. You know, you, if they're, they're still teaching people that they're Israelites, they're still teaching people to repent. Hey, man, it's, it's all love, man. You know, hey, the scriptures tell you if a man is a heretic, what you do is um, you warn them once or twice and then you reject them. You know, if they, they, if they don't get it. You just reject them. But it shouldn't be to the point that brothers are just constantly just um, spewing out hate towards one another. You know, it's a different where you're just correcting the doctrine. You know, you may do it once or twice. You know, after a while, you're like, OK, they don't get it. But when it becomes a hey, fuck these brothers or. um. Hey, uh, don't listen to these brothers or uh, just 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 things outside of correcting doctrine or rebuking or reproving. When it when it becomes deeper than that and it, and it goes to another level of saying, hey, F brothers and um, just just throwing insults and slandering one another. That's when it becomes off, man. And you don't want to get caught up in that coming to this truth. And the Lord be putting it on my spirit a lot. To really just kind of give warnings to those that's that's new in the truth, man. You know, that's kind of fresh in this thing. You know, they kind of... That you're a babe, man. You know, you're still weaned off the milk. You kind of just walking around in, in the damn grass. Don't really know where you're going. You know? And the Lord been putting on my spirit to kind of make videos to just kind of keep you on the right, on the right track through the spirit. Because I, I'm, I'm new in this truth, man. I haven't been in this thing that long. You know? I'm going on my second year in, in this thing, man. And it's a lot of these things that I'm speaking about, I've experienced. Like what um what, what Alizar just said, um, him picking up that hatred towards other brothers through the teaching of, of his elders. I've experienced that, you know, and you don't want to fall victim to that. 
You see, now you're looking at other brothers that the Lord could possibly actually be dealing with. And you're looking at them like you're you're above them and they're below you, you know, and they're and that they're your enemies. Yet this man um, has the spirit of the Lord on him just like you, man. You know, the Lord is using that man just like he's using you. You see? And breaks that spirit off of me, which I'm talking about. Uh, priest of Bach from the house of Israel, right? You taught people to hate people, right? Contrary to the scriptures. And I've actually, hey, I, I've, I, I, you, hey, I, you still see it a lot on a, on a heavy level, man. You know, you may have been learning from certain brothers, and then you get under, um, you learn, you learn under another doctrine that you feel like, okay, now I'm, the Lord has leveled me up. I have more understanding than this guy. Now you start to speak. Um, badly about these guys that the Lord used to build you up before you made before you made it to that point, man. You know, you start to speak badly about these guys like you're better than them because you you believe you have more understanding than them, you know, or you believe you you're um, deeper than them in the scriptures, so on and so forth. You know, and that's a that's a bad spirit to have, man. You see. And if you think the Most High God is not going to deal with you niggas for it, you have fooled yourself. In response to me going into the scriptures and speaking about the fact that as far as the Levitical priesthood is concerned, you changed it and make it about a whole different priesthood that I wasn't talking about. Right? Instead, I talk about that and your response to that is making a video saying nobody can deal with Great Millstone with the scriptures. Right? If nobody can deal with you with the scriptures, why is it that you can't follow a script, a simple scripture like you're a goddamn murderer for the hatred that you're perpetuating the earth? Well, and unbelieving. And another point, like, hey, the scriptures tell you is no respect of persons, man. You know, so I just wanted to throw that out there. Right. I, I'm not a man pleaser and I'm also not a respecter of persons. So my whole goal is to. To speak what the spirit, to speak what the spirit wants me to say, you know, if the spirit reveals something unto me, I, I'm, I'm gonna bring it out for the edification of, of the elect. You know, I'm not a respecter of persons, a respecter of persons, and I'm not a praiser of men. You know, I don't seek the, I don't seek the praise of men. You know, and I'm a servant of Yahweh Shai. I'm not a servant of man. You see. So I just wanted to throw that out there. And, 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 and truth is truth. You know? And like I said, I, I give double honors to the elders of Great Millstone because of I, I acknowledge that the Lord used them through the Spirit to give certain breakdowns and understanding. But I also acknowledge that I'm not going to follow every single action. And um, if I see them um, despising certain brothers and, and having certain feelings towards certain brothers, I'm not going to just blindly follow that. You know, but I I do follow the the doctrine. You know the scriptures, you know, and that's that's the point I'm trying to get out there because a lot of brothers they want to pick up the whole spirit of 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 certain camps or a certain group just because they follow the doctrine. Now if this group hates these camp, this camp they hate that camp, or this group despises this camp for whatever reason they despise that camp. You know, this group starts to um make videos towards certain camps they want to make videos and like i said when i first um came into this thing i was kind of picking up on those feelings as well you know i wouldn't want to watch certain brothers or um i would think certain brothers are off you know just just being influenced by teachers you know and elders when really um hey all all the different brothers, man, in, in different camps, man, they're 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 edifying the the they like, man. You know? They're edifying. Right? And I just wanted to make that point, right? So there's no respecter of persons, man. Don't come into this truth being a respecter of persons. You know, having this favorite teacher or this favorite camp that you feel like is just above above everything, man. And now you just you got to, hey, you, you being a respecter of persons, man. And you don't even acknowledge when they're going off or acknowledge that something they're doing is, it can possibly be contra um, contradicting scripture. You know, you're looking at these guys as, as if they're Yahweh Shai, man. You know? You're so deep that you forgot the shallow scriptures. 
Read that. Revelation 21 and 8. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers. And what? Murderers. And murderers. If you hate your brother, you're a murderer. And murderers are rhyme live. Read. And whoremongers. Uh -huh. And sorcerers. Uh -huh. And idolaters. Uh -huh. And all liars uh -huh. shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone. That's to you, Elder Apostle Rhyme Live. You'll have your part in the lake that burneth with fire and brimstone. Those missiles that you've been teaching for how many decades, you're going to goddamn feel the missile fire if you don't repent for your unwarranted hatred. All right? Back to back to 1 John. And you ain't got to like it, nigga. That's the word of God talking. You don't have to like it. I could be a young punk. I could be whatever you want. But that's the word of God talking. Tell you how you don't like it, nigga. Read that. 1 John 3 and 15. Uh -huh. Whosoever hated his brother is a murderer. Is a what? Murderer. You're a goddamn murderer. Repent. Read. And ye know that no murderer hath eternal life abiding. You, yeah, I wish I ain't picking you up, nigga. It's not in you. If you don't repent. And that goes for anybody. You know how many years it took us of, of getting right in the spirit to, to undo the disservice that y'all did to us by teaching us to hate every goddamn body that you didn't like from one West? And that's that's real, man. And I'm not once again, I'm not specifically speaking about Great Millstone. You know, um, the brother Alizar is going into his own personal testimony. But hey, you see it amongst just the one West camps as a whole. You know, um, how it's like, yeah, if you join my camp or you're not in the book of life, or if you're not part of this camp, you're not in the truth, or if you're not a part of this camp, your doctrine is off and you're not gonna make it or these different things, you know, it's like, and, it, and it, like the brother said, it basically stems from the One West camps, you know, those original camps that stemmed out of One West, you know, who have this, 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 I don't even know what to call it. Like I said, for lack of better terms, these, these beefs that's been going on since, since before certain brothers has even been in the truth 30 plus years ago type of thing, 20 plus years ago, you know? Yeah. yeah. All right. Salakia. Right, but yeah, these beefs that have been going on for, for, for years, man. You know, and, and you being new into the truth or just being learning from these different groups, you don't want to be caught up in that, man. You know? We had to undo that. And all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Does that mean that we don't have to rebuke people? No. Does that mean we have to teach the same doctrine as everybody? No. We can rebuke people and we can correct them and we can teach what the appropriate doctrine is without having personal hatred towards them. You know we can do that, right? Go ahead. Read Matthew 5, man. Then I'm going to get to the point. See, that's a good point. You can have a difference in doctrine. There's nothing wrong with that. You can try to correct brothers according to scriptures. But even when it comes to that, I'm going to get a quick precept. I'm going to get a few, right? Um, this is Titus 3. Titus 3 and 10, right? It says, um, a man, I'm, yeah, a man that is an heretic, meaning that causes division, you know, and that could be dealing with doctrine, you know? It says, after the first and second admonition, so after the first and second warning, reject, right? I'm going to read it in the NIV. It says, warn a divisive person once and then warn them a second time. After that, have nothing to do with them. So that's all you got to do. You put the warning out there. Hey, y'all going off on this. Y'all going off on that. And then, hey, you, it's, it's, you just have nothing to do with them after that. That's what the scriptures tell you to do. But yet you may see certain brothers that just constantly, oh, y'all off on this. And they just make a thousand videos about it, man. When the scriptures just tell you, warn them once or twice and then, and, hey, and then reject them, man. You know? And that's pretty much what the brother Alizar is going into. Like, it's a difference between just um, sincere reproof and and just outright, just like, hey, I don't even know what word. Hey, it's like you beefing with brothers, man. You know, you have your own personal uh, dislike or disdain or hatred for a certain brother. That's a difference. You know, you can sincerely correct or you can just have your own personal agenda uh, towards a brother, man. You know? You know, I'm gonna get another one. So that's that's Paul. That's what Paul said. Paul said, "Hey, you want them once or twice, and then you reject them. You have nothing to do with them." 
Right. So this is Romans 16 and 17. It says, now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions of of offenses um, contrary to the doctrine which you have learned and avoid them. Once again, you see Paul saying, hey, you mark those brothers. That's that's um, um, if you believe they're they're teaching false doctrine, you mark them and you, you avoid them, you know. I'm going to read this in the NIV as well. It says, I urge you, brothers and sisters, to watch out for those who cause divisions and put obstacles in your way that are contrary to the teaching you have learned. Keep away from them. That's what the Lord tell you to do. Keep away from them. Even when you deal with um, our Lord and Savior, our King, you know, Yahweh Shai, it's his, his teaching. What did Yahweh Shai say about the blind leading the blind? He said, hey, he said, first he said, let them alone, meaning have nothing to do with them, you know? Let them alone, man. They be blind leaders of the blind. And both shall follow through this. That's what Yahweh Shai said. Let them alone, man. You know, so when it becomes um, more than just correcting and now you're just spewing out hate for one another, then it becomes, that's off, man. You know, that's Deuteronomy 28 and 54. You know, having that evil eye towards your brother. Let me see. I'm just going, I'm going to find that. This is what Yahweh Shai said. Right? This is Matthew 15 and verse 14. It says, let them alone. That's let them alone. That's what Yahweh Shai said. Just let them alone. Let them do what they're doing. You know, the deceiver and the deceive our heads. That's Job 12 and 16. You know, it says, let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the, if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. So Yahweh Shai said, let them alone. You know. So if you believe someone is going off, you don't have to constantly, you don't have to hate these brothers or say, fuck these brothers or. Make a million videos of uh, showing that these brothers are wicked or whatever it may be. Yahweh Shai just said, let them alone, man. You know, that's just what the Bible say. Can't argue with that. All right. Paul said, mark them and then and then leave them alone. You know, you mark them. They cause the divisions. You mark them and you have nothing to do with them, man. You know. Right. But notice, notice how many. Notice how many videos they just did. All the GM, how many, uh, Rakab, how many videos GMS did on me this week? When a nigga tried to kill me, how many videos did they do? Right? You talk about they killed the prophets. Nigga shooting me in the street, a miracle happened. Nobody knows where these bullets are at. No videos. Right? Prophecy coming to pass. No videos. I say, uh, 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 I make a statement that's totally true. That Elder Apostle Har makes a video and said, Alazar said this, he's right, a million videos. If you niggas can't see how blind you are with hatred and how murderous you are, when, when them missiles hit you, nigga, you, and you know what you'll give me, Yahweh Shah, what he says, Zayatha and uh, Derek Yahweh, y'all bust your mouth, y'all broke thumb off the water. Give me, um, uh, uh, I never knew you. You guys don't know Yahweh Shah. You never knew him because he didn't harbor hatred for niggas the way you do, right? Read that. Matthew 7 and 21. Uh-huh. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Uh-huh. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Uh-huh. He, he that doeth what? The will of my Father which is in heaven. Anybody in the room, what's the will of my Father? The laws. Hold that. Leviticus 19 and 17. The laws. Well, let's go to the law. Leviticus. This is what y'all got a problem with, right? And we're going to deal with all that in a minute. And y'all going to stop misrepresenting my points all the time because that's satanic right go ahead leviticus 19 and 17 thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart you see that you openly you, he's around my belief came out about i hate you nigga he said that right you are openly going against the law statute commandments of the most high did he make a video on comfy i hate you nigga when he died and rejoicing over his death the nigga that came and said he's the Holy Spirit, right? You didn't have that level of energy for him that you have for me. Interesting. Go ahead. It says, Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Uh huh. Thou shalt not in any thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Right? You rebuke. So rebuking somebody is not hating them, but saying you hate them or harboring that feeling of hatred, that is hatred. Rebuking and correcting somebody is not hatred. We know that, right? Go ahead. But some of y'all try to mask hatred with rebuke videos right and because these rebuke videos y'all are making about me are fake 
because they have nothing to do with the point I made, and I'm getting ready to expound on that very clearly through the spirit of power of Yahweh. Point, officer. Just, just a quick point, and because um, you know, like the scripture said in Leviticus 19, you're supposed to rebuke your neighbor. That's what real love is. And so I remember I was watching the video that Elder Apostle Ramla was doing, mm -hmm. and um, it was it was a lot of, and he admitted in a, in a later video he was just going rambling. Now, I mean, he went to the scriptures a little bit, but it was a lot of just to hell with you, we'll do yada, yada, yada. And I remember I came in there and said, I love you, Elder Apostle. Ram. I love all the elders. We love the, all the elders. And nobody respect. This is true. I'm, I, could, I could really care less how much uh, some of these new Great Millstone members feel about it. Nobody respects the elders of Great Millstone more than probably you and Deacon and a lot of members hey, of Sakura. Listen, and that includes all them niggas that's in Great Millstone. Yeah. Yes, no, that's no, what I'm saying. No, nobody is your actual students more than me and Deacon. I'm going to tell you that now. All right. Because we actually when, when we didn't just listen to y'all and go, oh, the elders, They're, all them guys in jail, that's all they do. Oh, the elders. We and you see that with a lot of camps. Uh, you see that with a lot of camps, you know, and like I said, this is this. This is uh, Alizar's once again, his own personal testimony towards GMS. But this is supposed to be for the edification and just in general. Like, and this happens with a lot of camps. Where it's just like a lot of camps just disregard the, the things that's off about the elders that they learn from or the, the elders of the camp that they're in or the leaders of their camp. They just disregard when they're going off and they have like like the brother is saying that, oh, the elder spirit, like they just um like praising men, you know, just just praise men. Whatever they say is right. You know, at that point, it's like, damn, man, you're you, hey, man, you're not even. You're not even is you really following your how is shy man or are you are you just seeking to be justified and the the praise of man man you know let me get a quick preset because that that's heavy in israel man that all the elder spirit you know this is galatians 1 and 10 it says for do i now persuade men or the heavenly father it says or do i uh yeah or do i seek to please men for if I yet please men, I should not be the servant um, of Yahawashai. Let me read that in the NIV, right? It says, am I now trying to win the approval of human beings? Because that's what you see a lot of these guys do in, in, in different groups and, and things like that. You know, they just trying to um, receive that approval from their elders or their camp leaders or just different men and, and women in general. You know, they just want that approval from human beings, man. Like, like it says here, it says, am I now trying to win the approval of human beings or of the heavenly father or am i trying to please people and you see it's a lot of people pleasers in this truth man you know they just want to please the next man it says if i were trying to please people i would not be a servant i should not be a i would not be a servant of yahweh man you know and if you're a real servant of yahweh you're not going to be a respecter of persons you're not going to be a man pleaser you know you're going to just stand up for for truth man because yahweh is the truth you know and that's that's what I plan to do, you know, through the spirit is to stand up and teach what I believe is truth, man. You know, I'm not teaching anything to be to please any group of brothers, you know, any group of sisters, any camps, you know, what the spirit shows me through the spirit. That's what I'm going to bring out, man. You know. And that's how we have to all be right. Paul just said, if I was a, if I was seeking the approval of men, you know, if I was seeking to please men, I shouldn't even be a servant of your shine, man, you know. I'm going back to the video applied it we actually did it right and you can act like you ain't seen that for what it is but it's just what it is we actually did what you guys did okay when the people over us were talking some bullshit guess what we did bucked on them that's what y'all did right right f troop ain't that what y'all did when the when central command was giving y'all hell what did y'all do then when y'all went to the house of David, right? Isn't that what y'all did? Come on, man. Right? Y'all want us to just bow down and go, oh, the elder. But did y'all do that? So who's really your students? Them niggas that are sitting up under you going, oh, the elders. Or the niggas that did what you would have done. Right? If y'all were up. Right. And the scriptures tell you, um. Don't be an underling to a foolish man. I believe that's um, what is that? Syrac the fourth chapter. Let me see. Uh, Syrac four 
and verse 20, is it 20? Bear with me. Con. So I write four in verse 27. It reads, make not thyself an underling to a foolish man. Right? So the scriptures say, don't make yourself an underling to a foolish man. It says, neither accept a person of the mighty. Right? So if you know somebody is going off, you don't make yourself an underling to a foolish man. That's that's Sirach 4 and 27. Right? But um, going back to the video. Us, you would have did exactly, you would have moved exactly how we did. Right? Go ahead. Let me read it one more time. Leviticus 19 and 17. Thou uh -huh. shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Uh -huh. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Read on. Keep going. Okay. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge. Nor what? Nor bear any grudge. Give me the definition for grudge, please, in the Hebrew. Right. And that's the point I really wanted to get from that Syrac 4. Is if you see um, a somebody in a leadership position or whether it's an elder, a camp leader, whatever it may be. And they're doing foolish things, you know. They're they're walking contrary to scripture. Don't just have that that spirit that Alizar was speaking about. Oh, the elders. These are the, my elders. You know, you're just blindly following whatever they say and whatever they do. That that's you making yourself an underling to a foolish man. You know, and you don't want to do that, man. Just blindly following men because of their status, you know, or because how how they're seen. You know, that's that's off. You see. Or you just blindly following them because what's what what is that scripture? Uh let me see. What's that John the seventh chapter I'm thinking about? Um I believe it's John the ninth chapter. Bear with me. The scripture just came to mind. Con, this is what I want. This is John chapter 9 and verse 22. It says, These words speak his parents because they feared the Jews, for the Jews had agreed already that if any man did not confess that he was Jehoshai, he should be put out of the synagogue. And a lot of brothers, they have that fear. You know, if I say I believe this or if I say I disagree with this, I may be put out of the camp. You know, I may be put out of the group. Even though that's what you truly believe and that's what you truly see through the spirit, you, ref you, re you refuse to acknowledge it because you don't want to be put out from amongst a group of men. You know, and that, that's that's what was happening in this account here. His parents feared to be kicked out of the synagogue, man. You know, hey, but you got to be willing to get kicked out of the synagogue for truth's sake. And that's actually what happened when you read on in this account. The blind man who was healed by Yahweh Shai. Hey, he, he was kicked out, man, for his for believing in Yahweh Shai. You know, he, he hey, that's just what it was. You know, but let's go back to the video. So, like, yeah, goddamn. I don't know why I always close like that, man. He's in the Hebrew. Something that y'all taught us to go into the blue letter or go into the Hebrew, right? And it's hard. You, are you sure you ain't sharing your screen? Okay, I'm sure. You're sure your screen? Nobody see that. Anger. See that? You see that? Yes. To keep, to keep guard, to reserve, to maintain. You're maintaining this negative feeling. You don't want to let it go. You're a sinner. 18 or 17. What are we at? 18? Yeah. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. Uh huh. But it is what it is, man. Repent or repent or feel the ICBMs. That's all I got for you. Matthew 5. Matthew 5 and 44. It said, oh, we're going we to kind of close after the brothers go into the Matthew the 5th chapter. This, uh, but I say unto you, love your enemies. You say what? Love your enemies. And I got to love you. And what that rebuke I just gave you, Elder Apostle Ramah, that's called love. Right? Go ahead. It says, but I say unto you, love your enemies. Uh -huh. Bless them that curse you. See that? Bless them that curse you. You curse me. I got to bless you. Right? And that's fine. Because I actually bow my knee to my king, Yahweh Right? Go ahead. Do good to them that hate you. I say what? Do good to them that hate you. We got to do good to those that hate us. Something we have to learn to do. Y'all go ahead. Uh, and pray for them which despitefully use you. And pray for them which despitefully use you. You've despitefully, the elders of Great Millstone have despitefully used us as the younger men that they taught that were under their tutelage. 
And they're not alone. We just went through that situation. Elder Barack despitefully used us, right? And shout out to Deacon IBLIUIC for doing a tremendous video on that last night as well about the despiteful use of the Sakari by Elder Barack, right? Go ahead. Keep going. Uh, we gonna always get into pray that. Pray for them, which despitefully use you. Pray for brothers. Go ahead, because because brothers are gonna do this. Other Israelites, in and out the truth, are gonna do all these things. Yahweh taught us how to deal with that. Right? Does that mean we don't rebuke? Does that mean we don't call things out? No, because that's a part of love. Rebuke. Right? We just learned that in the law. Go ahead. That you may be the children of your Father, uh -huh. which is in heaven. If you really are followers of the Most High Yahweh, that's how you're gonna treat and deal with things. Right, and that's how Yahweh Shai taught you to deal with the enemies of your people, man. You know, to pray for them. You know, to to, to still love them. You know, and um, Alizar actually made a good point earlier how you would see certain camp leaders and these different camps making uh they would they would insult one another, you know, um, but they would mask it as a rebuke video when they really insulting one another, you know, calling each other bums, saying fuck the next camp and. Um, so on and so forth, man. Throwing these insults at one another, but they mask it as, oh, this is just rebuke. Hey, brother, it's a certain way to rebuke, man. You know, calling a brother a bummer light, you know, is not is not sincere rebuke. You know, saying fuck this camp, you know, that's that's carnal and that's off. You know, and you don't want hey, I'm telling you, hey, you don't want to get caught up in that, man. Just learn learn the truth of the scriptures and, and you don't want to get caught up with these different camp versus camp beefs, man. You know that that's that's once again, that's Deuteronomy 28 and 54, man. You know, having the evil eye towards your brother. Right? That's how the actual... But then that's what yeah, I wish I said. A nigga is a, a rhyme lob in particular, and guys in Great Millstone, they're going to try to figure out a way to act like this isn't in the Bible or why you don't have to apply this. You know how I know? Because I watched it for 13 goddamn years. Somebody tell me I'm making it up. 13 years I've sat and watched you niggas do this. And try to convince me of this bullshit. Right? Go ahead. That's it on that? Um, Boom. All right, let's get into it. Pull the, pull the tape oh, well, up. Go well, ahead. If it's more, I'll, I'll go ahead. This. Here's really the point. Verse 46. Kinda. For if you love them which love you, what reward have you? Uh-huh. Do not even apologize. So, so if I don't love Elder Apostle Aram Lab, right? Because he hates me openly. If I return that with just hatred... Guess what? I'm just as bad as him. Right? Go ahead. Uh, do not even the publicans the same. Uh huh. And if you so when I see that video, when I, when I see he's making a video, I hear the things he's saying about me. I don't go, man, F that old nigga, man. I just want him to die. I laugh about it. Right? I laugh about how bothered I make some of y'all niggas, man. I don't understand why y'all so bothered. Because I exist in a world where somebody got to come tell me about what y'all are talking about me. I'm not paying any attention to what you have going on. Right? I got to get a phone. Somebody got to tell me. Oh, you heard this person said this, this, and that? Somebody got to send me the video. I have too much work to do trying to get us out of here. And that's how all of us should be. Because I'm not going to be able to get us out of here. We all are got to put our work in. Right, we got way too much work to do. Right? To be sitting here worried about a nigga that's just mad for nothing. Go ahead. And if you salute your brethren only, uh -huh. what do ye more than others? Uh huh. What do ye more than others? Read on. Do not even the publicans also. The, these guys in Great Millstone taught us that this only means people in other Great Millstone members. Love your enemies in Great Millstone. Wait, what? What? And then just briefly, I heard that Aram Lab said something about the Uriah situation, right? Do you know that months ago? Sakari Seattle run into uh, uh, GMS Seattle or GMS. That's pretty much all I wanted, man. You know, go, uh, just going into that that Matthew five, which is a, a beautiful scripture, man. That's that's your how Shai is teaching. You know, I can't just see a brother that's in my camp or um, believe and teach what I teach and be like, okay, that's my brother. I'm gonna salute him. You know, and then I see a brother at IUIC or a different camp and look at them as if they're wicked because they don't teach what I teach. So now I don't, I don't want to salute the brother or I'm giving the brother an evil eye, man. That's contrary to what Yahweh Shai taught, man. You know, and um, that's pretty much all I wanted to go into. You know, hey, man, don't be a blind follower of men. Don't just be dive into this thing and pick up that old hatred and, and, and the old beast that, that were that stemmed from 
way before you be way at the beginning of of one west you know 20 plus 25 plus years ago man you know if you believe a certain doctrine just believe the doctrine but don't get caught up in having um an evil eye or a certain feelings towards a group of brothers just because they don't see the scriptures the way you teach them man we're all trying to do the same the same work through the spirit and power yahweh bashim yahweh shai you know uh amen Lord willing, this is edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashir, Kakadash, and Shalom.